What is one thing everyone enjoys around the holidays and is super sad to let go once it's over? That's right, eggnog. Eggnog is this sweet drink with that you add cinnamon to sometimes, you add alcohol, don't drink unless you're over 18 or 21, depending on where you are, I don't really care. Be safe, be responsible. Le de poulet is French for eggnog or translated properly as chicken milk. I bet it doesn't go, I bet it isn't as popular in French speaking areas. As you know, 2021 has come and I am super sad because Christmas is over and there's no more eggnog in stores and it's really saddening, but I'm not ready to let it go yet. So today I am making eggnog because I'm sad. So in order to make this delicious holiday drink, you will need some ingredients. These ingredients will be two and a half cups of milk, four whole cinnamon sticks, one eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon vanilla extract, seven egg yolks, three and a quarter cups white sugar, two heavy cream or half and half for the light version, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I suppose we should go to the kitchen and attempt to make this delicious holiday beverage. We're back in the kitchen. I'm prepared to make this eggnog. So first of all, you're gonna need two and a half cups of milk, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. After that, you put your milk, milk concoction on the stove and put it on low and you insert your cinnamon sticks. One, two, three, four. Four cinnamon sticks. In a separate bowl, you put seven egg yolks in with sugar. So you gotta separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. And the final number, seven. Three quarter cups of sugar. That's two quarters, three quarters. Now whisk the egg yolks and sugar together now that's all whisked together, next step is to turn the heat up to medium high and remove the cinnamon. Turn it up to medium high and you want to grab some tongs. You want to grab tongs in a separate bowl and you want to grab your cinnamon sticks and save them for later. Make sure you stir your milk often so it doesn't burn. You must pour a small bit of your warm milk into your egg and whisk it together you to loose everything up and then you pour it back into the extract with everything else. Make sure you get all of it in there. Now we whisk for three minutes, I think. Now you wanna pour your eggnog back into a big container after three minutes of whisking and let it cool down for one hour. That is not eggnog. Now you pour the milk and egg concoction into a container and you let it sit there for one hour to cool down at room temperature. And if you want, you can add back in the cinnamon sticks, which I will because I want it cinnamony. Now I'll see you all in an hour when this is cool and I have to add in everything else. It's been an hour later and it's cooled down quite a lot. Still a little warm, but that's okay. So now after you let it sit for an hour, you have to add in Two cups, you have to add in two cups of heavy cream or half and half if you want it a little more diluted. But you can always do that with milk later so you get more eggnog. That's what I do. Two more teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you want to add in an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. There's about an eighth left in this container, so use it all. That was more than an eighth, but it's okay. Get a good look at that. That's looking pretty good. So it recommended after you've done all that to wait four hours. So I'll come home after school tomorrow and I'll try it out then. That'll be the official taste test. Good afternoon. It is now the next day. I have come home from school and my eggnog has had time to chill. So far, I've had very positive reviews from my family and I'm kind of looking forward. They say, it's better than store eggnog, which is sort of advertised on the recipe page I, I uh, looked at. I have my eggnog right here and I'm quite excited to test it. Apparently it's very creamy, so I diluted a little bit with uh, milk. 
I suppose you have only one thing to do in this scenario, and that is to take a sip. I've had some pretty gross drinks before in my life, so hopefully this is actually a pretty good one. Let's test. It's very cinnamony. Cinnamony. I should probably have taken out the cinnamon sticks because they're still in there a day later. It's not bad. It tastes like eggnog. It's better than it's better than the store eggnog. I have to admit, it's better than the store eggnog. And it's really good. It's a little too much cinnamon in it, but that's because or it's a little too much cinnamon. Yeah. Should have left the should have taken the cinnamon sticks out after the one hour. But it is very good. 10 out of 10, right in here. Galaxy Riders, 10 out of 10. That is very good. So, if you wanna see the link to this recipe I used, it'll be down in the description. Uh, go check it out, I highly recommend it. It is how to make old fashioned eggnog at home. That does it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you care to see more content like this, Consider subscribing, it's free, and I would really appreciate it. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye